tonight? May my question is very simple. Uh, what if India did not engage in a dialogue with Pakistan? How would India lose? Okay. It, it is not benefiting anywhere at all. Right. So there so is you nothing to you lose at all. You believe the dialogue is totally a useless exercise, and if India cannot put forward its concerns, it uh, really uh, is going nowhere. Thank you, Subhash, very much for putting your thoughts across to us. Uh, in fact, Narendra from Bangalore is now joining us. Uh, Narendra, go ahead. Yeah, my uh, suggestion is that India should uh, boycott Pakistan and get all the other countries to do so. Only then, you know, you should hurt the people of Pakistan, then they will organize themselves into a democracy. Otherwise, it's a, a wasteful ex exercise trying to have a dialogue with them. Now, now they have sent a 34-year-old uh, lady as the foreign mm. minister. And I don't know, next time they'll probably send a baby. So, right. I think, uh, so you do believe that Pakistan is getting away with whatever it is set out to do. Exactly. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, VP Sharma is now joining us from Gurgaon with the telephone line. Mr. Sharma, please tell us what you feel. What I feel is, ma'am, that it looks that as if we are not doing anything, we are only doing, we are counting the dead body, and we are not doing anything at all. What is the use of talking every time we are talking for the last 20 years? What has happened? What we have gained? Absolutely. Uh, so you do agree uh, with us that, uh, you know, with the viewpoint that India is diluting its stand on terror. Shiv Shankaran from Mumbai is also over the telephone line with us. Uh, Shiva, go ahead. Yes, they have decided to meet again. That's all we have achieved. That's all we have achieved. They have demonstrated that they care for the separatist more. Right. Because they have met them, they have discussed the prayer to the meeting. What does it indicate? All right, Shiva Shankaran, thank you so much for joining us. Let's go across to Balakrishnan. Now he's joining us from Bangalore. Balakrishnan. Good evening. Please My question ahead. is that we have a useless uh, uh, home minister and we have a uh, remote control prime minister. These fellows won't do good for our country. They will spoil the image of our country. This is true. Let's tell the Kashmir people, buying to our loss, otherwise tell them to get lost to their country. Which they prefer. All right, Balakrishnan, thanks very much for joining us. Samir is now joining us from Mumbai. Samir, go ahead and make your point. Yeah, I want, I want to know that why we are allowing the uh, foreign minister to meet these Hurriyat leaders. Why at the first place we allowed, they allowed her to visit the Hurriyat leaders? Okay. This is my question. That is, that is my question. Okay, Samir, thank you very much for joining us. That indeed is uh, one, point of, uh, 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 one point that has uh, made many in the Indian establishment very unhappy that the foreign minister did actually go and meet the Hurriyat leaders before she met up the external affairs minister, S.M. Krishna. Uh, in fact, Dr. Mangeshikar is still with us. Uh, Doctor, you heard very, very angry reactions. The, uh, you know, people are losing faith in the Indian establishment, saying that what have we really achieved in the past uh, so many years that we have been talking to Pakistan. Uh, with this, uh, especially talking about the victims of the Mumbai terror attack, do you feel that your voice has, uh, you know, drowned over a period of time? Yeah, it's, it's, it's drowned, it's drowning and soon will be forgotten because everyone will, will soon forget what happened in 2611. They said it's just a passing event and um, so, uh, soon if Kasab is not uh, executed, he might even be released for good grounds or good behavior. And as an example that uh, the Pakistani has become a good guy and um, uh, he's been well fed in the in, in the in his cell out there with all the protection for him and uh, we're just kind of disappointed with the way the government is actually uh, carrying on a dialogue with uh, Pakistan. All right, uh, Doctor, do stay with us. Uh, we are continuously getting more calls. Asif from Srinagar is now uh, joining us. Asif, go ahead, make your point. Uh, this is Asif from Srinagar. Yes. Uh, my, it's a comment from my side. Please and, go ahead. Uh, my comment is that Kashmir is not freedom from India and that's the bottom line. If India is not ready to give up Kashmir, we are not ready to give up our Azadi. And that's it. Thank you. 
Okay, Asif, they're joining us uh, from Srinagar. We have uh, more callers coming in at this point in time. Obed is now joining us from Srinagar uh, once again. Obed, uh, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you... Please, yes, ma please go ahead. Tell us what you feel. Big, big troubles in this. So, where to come to their terms? Then, uh, yeah, you know, we know that Pakistan is in big, big troubles in this. So, we have to uh, come to their level. We have to become their friends. So, we have to di we're not diluting our terms uh, regarding terror. So we're just coming to the common terms, just uh, dilute the problems which are facing here, so that we uh, we go on and uh, uh, solve our problems regarding. All right, Ubaid, the uh, one person there from Srinagar feeling that uh, India is not diluting its stance on uh, terror. Ramnath from Kurg is now joining us. Uh, Mr. Ramnath, go ahead. How how would it be if our foreign minister goes to Islamabad and then uh, calls on? rebel leader of Balochistan. Right. How would the Pakistan government react to that? Okay, thank you Ramnath uh, very much uh, for joining us at this point in time. Uh, callers calling us continuously. If I can uh, go back to Dr. Mangeshikar, victim of the Mumbai terror attack who has uh, taken our time to join us here. Dr. Mangeshikar, I want, after all these calls, I just want to take in your comment on the views that are coming in at this point in time. This is what an average Indian really feels in today's date. Yeah, the, the average Indian, uh, rather the common man, feels that he, he or she has been left down, uh, let down uh, with the stand uh, by India. We are kind of diluting it uh, to a very great extent, and I'm afraid that right. you know, it might just die down with, like a little thud. Th hmm. th and um, I don't know what, what it's going to end, uh, end up with. We should be a little more proactive and a little more serious in our discussions with uh, uh, with which your power All right, Dr. Mangeshikar, do stay with us. I'm getting another caller. Mehboob is now calling us from Srinagar. Mehboob, uh, what do you want to say? Uh, my talk is that I want to say that India was never sincere for Pakistan. This terror is only 10, 20 years old. But uh, India was never before that sincere in talk, especially about Kashmir. All right, all right. So you feel India hasn't been sincere in... Uh, uh, dealing with uh, several of the issues. Mehboob, thanks so much for joining us here. In fact, uh, a lot of calls coming in. Uh, we are asking you to call us on uh, uh, the number flashing on your screen, 0120436941, and tell us, do you feel India has been diluting its stand as far as terror is concerned in the talks that we saw today between uh, Pakistan's Foreign Minister Hina Rabbani as well as our External Affairs Minister S.M. Krishna where we saw Kashmir come up several times but uh, terror not taking that much uh, importance. Uh, Dr. Mangeshikar is still with us. Uh, doctor, uh, do you feel that uh, we, you know, Pakistan has had a lot of leverage as far as uh, you know, terrorism is concerned? I'm going to come back to you with that question, Dr. Mangeshikar. Please stay with us. John is now with us from Kerala. John, uh, please uh, tell us what you feel. All right, John, uh, thanks very much for... Uh, sharing your views. Amir is now joining us from Delhi. Amir, what do you feel? Yeah, hello. Uh, what I think is that uh, even if India has not been an authoritarian and, and you know, unyielding in uh, taking its stand on terror, it may have done so, you know, with reasons best known for the greater good of the nation. Because All right. Amir, thanks so much for sharing your views with us. I'm going to have to move on. Sanjay Kaul is now with us from Mumbai. Uh, Mr. Kaul, what do you feel? I say that uh, this Kashmir has been an integral part of India since years, and why do we debate it? There is no reason, there is no reason to debate it. So you feel you. Uh, terror should be given more importance over here? Uh, yes. Over Kashmir? Okay. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Cole, for joining us. Krishna Shetty is now with us from Mumbai. Mr. Shetty, what do you feel? Has India been diluting its stand on terror? Right, we've lost that connection with Mr. Shetty over here. We are trying to get as many callers as we can over here. At this point in time, we're, uh, we're going into a very short break, but do stay with us. We'll be back.
Pakistan Foreign Secretary Salman Bashir speaks exclusively to NewsX. We are looking forward uh, to a to the resolution of the Jammu and Kashmir issue. Bashir was optimistic about the dialogue process and extended full cooperation on terror. Terror is also a main issue for Pakistan, so we have agreed to cooperate. Salman Bashir on NewsX exclusively. The much anticipated stunning new Corolla Altus genius inside, gorgeous outside is finally here. A seamless blend of genius performance and gorgeous style. Experience superior driving performance and unparalleled fuel efficiency through advanced technology, dual VVTi and super CVTi with 7-speed sequential shiftmatic also available in 6-speed manual transmission. It has the best luxury comfort features. Get enchanted with the mesmerizing bold new stands, grill and design and state-of-the-art features which includes Bluetooth enabled touchscreen DVD, new wood finish etc. The diesel version comes with a refined D4D engine with variable nozzle, turbo and intercooler which is best in classful efficiency. Inside, gorgeous outside, the stunning new Corolla Altis. Hello, one date with your sister, please. Just one date with your sister. Hi, just one date. One date. Ek dost ke liye tu itna nahi kar sakta. <laughs> just one date. You have run out of talk time. Hmm? Buy life me goods extra surprises with M bonus from MTS. Extra talk time, SMSs, downloads, ringtones, and much more. Yar bas ek date, please. Dude, just go ya. Take her. Please stop calling me. Inside, gorgeous outside, the stunning new Corolla Altis. Only at IIPM, Global Opportunity and Threat Analysis Program and the top global B schools. IIPM, number one in global exposure. Crossing continents to events that have shaped your world. The United States launched a targeted operation in Pakistan. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. Coming to you every weekend from Singapore, London and New Delhi. Wrapping up the week in 30 minutes. The world at this time on NewsX. Raja drags the Prime Minister into the 2G firing line. Says he consulted the Prime Minister several times on the 2G spectrum allocation. Can the PMO wash its hands off the 2G scam now? Log on to the all-new NewsX.com for the widest and latest news coverage from the nation. Work, business, sports and entertainment. Watch the news live as it breaks on our high-quality live channel streaming. Share your views. Be a part of NewsX ever-growing community on Facebook and Twitter. Connect. Converse. Interact. Newsx.com The last cost for the period between 2006 to 2010 it is 16,085 crores. It's official. BSE Durapa has been indicted by Santosh Hegde in his report for taking bribes and causing a loss of more than 16,000 crore rupees to the state exchequer.
despite the report kneeling, Yedirapa, the BJP drags its feet on whether to keep him in power 